Jean Grosbeck. I'd like to review some real estate statistics with you for Skagit County and where the information come from and what it really means. So I'm gonna do a share screen here so that we can look at um, some information that comes from the Northwest MLS. Here I've put in Skagit County and it automatically defaults to a 12 month rolling average. And this is the medium price. No surprise, we know prices are going up, but let's break it down a little bit more. I think that we need to look at maybe a rolling three months because of COVID and what it has done to our market. And you can see here January 2020 and the very sharp rise that we see in the median price. So if we look at, um, let's figure March when we first went into lockdown at 367,000 and now the median price is $414,244 based on a three month rolling average. Why are prices going up? Well, it's a lack of inventory. It's a lack of new home construction based on the cost of raw materials. Um, and of course, uh, with COVID uh, restrictions, it's more expensive to build homes right now. We have people that are concerned about putting their home on the market because of COVID or because they won't be able to find a home to move to. So let's look at the number of homes for sale in Skagit County. And you can see the very, very low numbers. And let's go to the actual monthly year and look, October of 2020, we only have 450 homes for sale on the market. If we go back to October of 2019 and compare that with 741, you'll see the huge difference. Uh, and that is just, caused by the increased demand for homes in Skagit County. The ability to work from home is going to enable a lot more workers to move to our area and enjoy a great quality of life. People want larger homes. We're more affordable in Skagit. They want larger backyards for entertaining or playing. And we have larger lot sizes here compared to the city. And then, of course, um, the city has high prices, high taxes. And then, of course, recently, um, the protest activity has caused uh, some people to be concerned about the future value of properties in metro areas. Another one that I like to look at is the month of supplies. <clears throat> this is based on closed sales. So this is based on the number of real estate transactions that are closing per month, how long it would take for there to be no homes for sale if nothing new came on the market. So anything under six months is gonna favor a seller. And we can see we finished October at 2.2 months of inventory. And if we go to October, 2019, 3.8 months, What's important about this is we were low of inventory and needed inventory of homes for sale going into COVID. This had been something which uh, started several years ago as we were coming out of the recession. We started to see inventory uh, reduce rapidly and it became a seller's market. This has intensified with the increased demand from COVID. This is based on closed sales. I also like to look at pending sales and the pending sales is, um, excuse me. I've got to, um, sorry. <laughs> uh, the pending sales are usually uh, more indicative of short term because um, this is uh, based on what's going into escrow on a more recent basis. And so you can see the steep decline here in the number of um, months of inventory of homes for sale based on pending sales. So those have not closed yet. And again, it's the same trend. We witnessed 
the increase in website hits a couple of years ago. And, and what was interesting is that we had been experiencing a lot of people from Snohomish County moving to our area because taxes were going up in Snohomish County. And of course, we've always had, you know, a feeder market from King County. But we started to see a shift in the, in the percentage from King County um, really increase when COVID hit. And so those website hits went way up. And then a couple of months later, uh, the phone started to ring and we're seeing those buyers actually move up here. In talking to those buyers that have the ability to work from home now, I've asked them, well, what, what if your company says in a year from now, you have to go back into the office to go to work? And the answer is, well, I have to change companies, I guess, because they've decided that this is the quality of life that they want. And they feel that there will be so many more job opportunities working from home that that's what they're going to pursue. Most of them would like to be going into the office occasionally for just a whole variety of reasons in terms of not just productivity, but social reasons. Um, so they all are hoping they don't need to stay working from home full time permanently, but they certainly enjoy the, the lifestyle. Um, another thing uh, to look at is the dollar volume. <clears throat> and you've probably, if you've been involved in a real estate transaction, heard that lenders are backed up, appraisers are backed up, inspections, uh, inspectors, and also escrow title companies. And this is why you can see the tremendous um, volume of transactions that are, um, are currently being done within Skagit County. And again, remember, there's a difference between looking at the trends on a monthly basis, a three-month rolling average, or a monthly rolling average. In um, maybe typical years, it didn't matter. You know, 15 years ago, those types of, of discrepancies or differences, I guess, didn't really point to anything tremendously significant. But it certainly is now when you have the variety of factors in place that we have. Uh, so if you'd like to know any information about your particular neighborhood, your city, your even your floor plan, if you have a split level or a one level home and you're wondering what is the demand for that type of home or a particular price range, we can zero this down and give you very, very precise statistics. That's exactly what we do when we're pricing property so that we really understand the demand that's out there. And you can choose which pricing strategy um, and the predicted outcome based on not just the location of your home, but your type of home. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Gene Grossbeck, The Grossbeck Group, and Compass Real Estate. You can reach us at thecompassgroup.com. Thanks.